Welcome back to Odin's Harem, everybody. We were in the middle of getting some healing potion for this gentleman right here. And uh, in the last episode, it was me and my son. But now we're continuing with just me. And uh, I'm kind of thinking, do I really want to get um, um, uh, the weak pot uh, potion of healing? Or should I make a stronger one? And I'm kind of, I kind of want to see this reaction when I drop in here. I'm kind of unsure. And being a new game, I'm also thinking maybe I want to try to play around with and have a look at um, the various potion strengths I could uh, sell. I just feel bad about just having weak potion, you know? I should be able to make something better. And also I'm very curious about all these various different things that you see uh, here in the menu. I'm not so very sure. Hi, are you the new alchemist? I'm the local herbalist. I gather plants and solve them. Would you see what I have for sale? I think I have something that might interest you. Okay, so this is pretty new to me. So he has life leaf. I see he has terraria. And I'm kind of surprised by how expensive these things are. Because people pay less, less than this for a whole potion. But I want to try this mechanic out and see. Okay, so four ingredients for 114. Maybe I can ha haggle it down. Um, I don't know. I have to have a look at these uh, various topics. I think it works in this way where you have to... In this case, alchemy, I have to click on every item that's associated with alchemy. I think that's how it works. But every picture seems to be connected with the topic at hand. I'm... Let's just give it a go. Let's... Ah, here I go back. <laughs> Bounce back and... It's... Well... It went down nine, nine bucks, let's say. Nine gold, I don't know. I think they say gold, yeah, nine gold. Man, imagine a time when you, was there really a time anywhere in the world where you, a whole coin, every coin was made of gold? I, Good afternoon. Yesterday at a friend's party, I burned my tongue on some hot soup. Now I can't taste a thing, and I'm a brewer. I need to be able to check the quality of my product. My tongue is useless now. Do you have a heating tincture? Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I bought some more ingredients. I think it's fire and wind to, to make a uh, healing. Can I make a stronger healing potion? Or do I want to go from here and explore other venues? I think I just want to go exploring a bit. Now obviously I'm forgetting here that uh, this is not how it works. You have to land on an actual logo or icon of a bottle and then start cooking. And you see the one or the two or the three. And then you can start blowing the bellows. You can't, it doesn't really do anything unless you're on a, an icon. So, yeah. If I could make it back to healing and then get closer to the middle where I get a two, 
and I can get a normal straight torsion. Well, life leaf would be going the right direction. So, you know, this game is still new to me, and I'm still... I wouldn't exactly say bewildered, but... I see that there's many ways you can go in this game. Kind of literally, on the map, like there's many ways you can go. But I'll save that for later. I've had an awful runny nose since yesterday. Do you have any medicine for it? Okay, so that sounds like uh, it should be healing, but maybe it's something warming. Where you can see the reactions I've noticed if you put the right thing. Yeah, see, she looks positively surprised. Um, yeah, I forgot to pick up, uh, to pick ingredients in the garden this morning. Level up, one talent point. Not bad. That's pretty cool. So this is new, sulfur shelf, hairy banana. It's a pretty crazy move it makes. I don't know when that would be ben a beneficial move to swing down and to the left like that, and then back, right? It's like a backward, it's like a J. So, yeah, how do I learn a new talent? I'm not really sure about that yet. So, obviously, there's a there's a lot that's hidden in this white Peter's game. Ah, look at this. Okay, so, checking out my basement. Well, I got an achievement for it, right? So, You know, I'm just seeing I, I, Philosopher's Stone, Negredo. I think it's just the names of the different crystals. So Negredo is the crystal that you put in here. And then you need to put a poison, you need to put something for strength, and something for sleepiness, and for something to fend, for defense, and something f to slow it down. Uh, it looks like you need to put all those various things in there. But then you need that crystal to begin with too, right? And somehow I have to get this machine repaired. So there's a lot, there's a lot of unknowns that are just floating in the air. I don't know why I achieved a goal for going to the bedroom, but um, I'm trying to figure out if there's a book or something I should read to learn a new talent. It's not quite obvious what that entails or what that means. That's why I'm like looking around everywhere. There's a lot in the menu here, you know. When I saw this game on Steam and I saw a quick playthrough, or just a quick sort of whatever. I think it was Boring Dad Gaming. Did I not play this? Uh, who's, which is a channel a lot like mine. Um, well, we're both elderly gentlemen, let's say. We're both fathers with kids. Uh, so I just saw him play it for a bit. It just it looked like a very simple, cozy, like, dad's game, you know. It's been a while since I played these simple, just click and, like, puzzle, puzzly, clicky games. It's been a while. But now it looks like, um, 
I'm going to go for uh, for that healing potion again. Let's see if I can get a stronger... Yeah. Let's see if I can get a stronger variant of a potion. So I just grounded just long enough for the X to be just in the middle. Can I get it to three? Well, we'll settle for two, which is a normal potion of healing. So yeah, I'm definitely saving that. That's for sure. So yeah, let's just finish this potion. I don't know what else there is to do, but I, I suppose I can have a look around from here. And so you see that compass on the top left above the ingredients. So you can click the direction you want to go and it will order the ingredients according to which ones will take you in that direction most effectively. That's why I clicked the uh, southeast if you know what I mean. Because I'm sort of looking to go in that direction. So I found Potion of Healing, and since I'm already out here, uh, I was thinking maybe I can find more things. Now I really don't know what all these bones are for. I just take it that it's going to break your, your uh, attempt. You know, like you'll have to start over if you hit the bones and break your bottle. So that was, that's pretty brilliant with the water that you can actually move away. Which makes sense, like you're diluting. You're diluting the potion, of course. See, it hit it for a bit and it went down. But it looks fine. Now, what was I saying? Yeah, so it dilutes it, which kind of makes sense that the potion will go back to where it came from by diluting it. I'm thinking if I could sort of go southeast, basically, but um, without hitting those bones in the east, maybe I can find something new. And then there's these books here which give you points. Yeah, no, let's not hit the bones. Let's be not careful. If you lift the ladle just a little bit, you'll see which you'll see an arrow which shows which direction you're going. Okay, so this is very precarious, being this close to bones. Oh. Okay, so if you hit them long enough, I think I get it now. If you hit them long enough for the potion to run all the way out, then you have to start from the beginning again. I think that's the way. Maybe I should have gone to whirlpool, because that would take me to a completely different place, right? I mean, it's sort of like divine intervention or whatever. How else would you explain those whirlpools, you know? It's like, uh,
because this is actually a brilliant mechanic to explain potion. I shouldn't say potion. I mean, uh, see, now I want to aim up, right? Because I want to. Here now, I found a new icon. Can I get into that bottle there? I can definitely get on. No, not too far away from the edge now. Luckily, I can always do loot. But let's just try to get kind of as far into the middle as I can. I think that's well. Water is not good enough. One will do, you know. It's a start. Potion of healing and wild growth. Okay, that sounds pretty crazy. So it heals you and maybe makes wounds. Or if you lost a finger, it makes it grow back. I don't know. A potion with two different effects. That's what I got right now. Which, uh, you know, that is pretty, pretty cool. I'm a little confused, uh, well, let's just start a new day, but, um, what I was thinking about is that I'm a little confused about that, uh, that potion icon. Okay, so you get a, an achievement every time you do one of these actions, it seems. Um, now, what I've been thinking about is alchemy in general. It's actually a field that I'm pretty interested in. Well, I think that didn't exactly sound the way that I thought it would sound. It sounds like I... I go at least slightly out of my way to study it and learn it. It's not like that. <clears throat> I just, uh, it's a subject that interests me. That was a new mushroom, Goblin Shroom. My head really hurts and it keeps me, keeping me awake. Do you have some kind of sleeping drop that, I, that can help me? That, I don't, uh, there's nothing related to sleeping that I can think of, that we have. I mean, the closest would be poison, but that's not really. But we had swiftness, right? So, swiftness was, there's poisoning. <coughs> So that's swiftness up there. So I'm thinking slowness, sleepiness, those kind of things, the opposite of being stimulated. Be on the other side of the map. I can just refuse it to go to the next one. She wants a healing potion, so uh, let's not give her the one with wild growth. Here's that page that where me and my son saved uh, like a nothing potion by mistake. So we have weak, and then we have the normal and the one with growth. <clears throat> 
And I think a week uh, seemed like it's more than good enough for her. Well, she just said she wanted a healing one. So unless they have, you know, severe pain. Rat poison. Okay, well that... Oh. But we gotta make the poison thing out yeah, of this one. So, yeah. Oh! Happy about that. Haggle? Uh, it's actually a good price, but I just feel like I should practice it. Okay, so here it says to rain. Does that mean that we should skip over, let's say, the tree? Because that's not terrain, it's just part of a terrain. Not exactly sure which buttons I would click on. Sixteen? Well, getting a little bit more. Need any herbs? Maybe there's something new? Maybe there's something new to check out. What is that thing for a hundred and four? Tangleweed? Dude, a hundred and four. No. I have a hundred and ten. Like, no, that's crazy. Some of the yeah, seasoning, medicinal purpose, purposes, and the brewers after using them to brew new kinds of beer. Yeah, all right. So we're getting a feel for the town and its inhabitants. I don't know why, but food seems to spoil incredibly fast in my house. Do you have a potion that helps food stay fresh longer? Sounds like something that would freeze or an ice potion or something in that department. And if we have fire on one side, and I can only assume ice would be on the opposite, right? Anything to do with freezing would be on the opposite side. So I should make my way to the east. Let's just get down a little bit. And I think we'll just be using water plumes and just go as far East as we can. <clears throat> Obviously, we want to grind it because we want to get as much out of as much eastward movement as possible. Yeah, Let's just keep using that. Now, I don't know what's here, but we'll move slow and carefully and see. I think we should just go. So we have something here already. Okay, we already had one, so... I mean... Could go up a bit. To make a stronger version. Or, we could just settle for that. Frost! Ta-da! There you go, Frost. Exactly what we needed. That's perfect. That should keep your, if you just pour this over your food, that should keep it fresh longer. 22, not bad. I can't light my oven because I lost my flint. Do you have something I can use to start the fire instead? Uh, well, we have fire potion. I assume you can just pour that on your logs and they will start burning. 47. 
All my firewood is damp. I don't know how I'm going to make a fire in my oven now. Um, so, um, was last thing was frost. So yeah, now we just need to make a fire potion. So that that's all pretty straightforward. It's all pretty easy and straightforward. Yeah, he looks impressed. Yeah, but like the creation of chemicals and things like that, or uh, the birth of uh, science, organic chemistry, is a very interesting subject. I mean, the, the, the fact that you can create something new by combining certain very specific properties of other ingredients and let's say you have one plant and you just want this one specific property from that plant distill you know distill that property like that whole process and how it evolves and and uh, became what it is today is it's mind-boggling and uh, very fascinating. 